Welcome to Night Rips. And time for a last rip and then jumping into a lot of sorting of 95 Top Saiyan Club High Number Series. Keep wanting to say Series 3, but they decided not to kind of buck, this, buck the system and call it something else. So let's go ahead and take out the final six packs of this product and we will call this one, this box done. I do have another box of it, but fortunately these have been... You know, it, it is a small set, so we may actually finish it with this one. I don't know until I start sorting, and that will be shortly after I finish this video. So, we have found our one insert of the Power Zone. Probably not going to find another one. Matter of fact, if I show you the odds, you will see there should be one in 24 packs. 24 packs in a box, therefore one per box. The one thing that we are going to look for is that Crystal Ball card. Don't know if we're going to find it, but the only way we can find out is by jumping in and ripping these packs. But before we do, invite you to join the channel, hitting that subscribe button below, and hitting notify. So let's go ahead and zoom on in and start ripping these final six packs. And we've been lucky so far. Every one of these, and matter of fact, this one, look how easy that one just slid right open there. Um, I haven't had to use a hair dryer on any of this. Yeah. Now, a lot of this is going to be just base that we will rapidly go through, especially since they're not sticking. There's Triff Cromer. I don't remember seeing him. But we haven't, we haven't had much problems with these packs, which makes me happy. There's an Extreme Core, Gary Sheffield, one of the subsets, or what they call themes. And we got Ray Langford. I don't remember seeing that one either. This might have been a lot of ones I've not seen before. Now we've seen Kevin Appier before. And, of course, the one, I think he's, he gets paid $1.7 million until he turns 75 from the Mets. Bobby Bonilla. But yeah, these are coming apart really, really nice. And I don't know where we are. At least from a card perspective. So we'll go through relatively quick. Enjoying the... Well, there's Mo Rivera. You know, enjoying the full non-bordered cards with a very minimal, you know, I forget what they even call the, the logos and the names and all that type of stuff. It's really there to focus on the photography, not focus on the team or the name or even the name of the product itself. Pack number two. And very few products do this where they, they actually focus on the game of baseball itself, not necessarily the product itself. And we got something backwards, and I don't know what that means. Because there's not anything, like, numbered. There's no autos. That may be that crystal ball card. Don't know. We won't know until we get there. Or it may just be the machine flipped them over. There's something. That's definitely a different color. So something strange in this one. Transaction. Tony... Tarasco. Here he had been with the, he's with the Expos, but before that he was a Brave. Actually, I think we've pulled that one before. Start forgetting after a while. Of course, we have Kevin Appier again. And Ray Langford again. And Joe Carter. And I don't remember pulling a Joe Carter. And I did see our card behind it. And I am extremely happy it is that crystal ball. And it's a great crystal ball on top of that. Chipper Jones. Wow. Number 10, retired with the Braves. Hall of Famer. Th great third baseman. Spent his entire career with the Braves. And he now owns a moonshine company. If you're ever on the third base, the dugout section, you get to go down to Sugarland's uh, Moonshine and... You can buy his his moonshine drinks right there in cans, which is kind of cool. But that is awesome. That is really, really cool. Didn't play in 94. 93 was in Richmond. 94, he actually was hurt. I forget exactly, but this would be his 95. Of course, his rookie card was actually 96, and I do have that. And if you're interested in seeing what his rookie card looks like, at least for tops, check out my nine-card collection on the Braves. 
where I do have one of those cards. Shane Andrews, Angular Cedinho, and the one who I name my butcher each time, so I'm not even going to try. I'm excited. Pulling a Chipper Jones crystal ball. A year before he really started playing full-time, and actually, just out of curiosity, what position do they have him at? Well, they have him at third base and outfield. Uh, one of the things about the Chipper cards, and it's actually it's interesting, this one, the crystal ball is number one, and the Jeff Bagwell is number one. So I got both of them are number one cards. But the interesting thing, if you find a lot of his early cards, you'll actually find he played shortstop, not third, even though he did most of his career as third base. All right, third pack. Well, that's cool. I'm, I'm Of all cards I could have pulled, that's the one I wanted. Being a Braves fan. Matter of fact, here's Chipper right here. So Chipper looking down on his own card. It's Kevin Ritz. The other thing I'm happy about is I am actually pulling cards I don't remember. Now, I don't remember every card, but there's only 135, so you got to pull cards you don't remember in order to fill a set. Derek Bell transaction, we pulled that one. Ray Langford, we pulled. Ray Larkin, we pulled. And Albert Bell, we pulled. There's the Hawk. There with the Florida Marlins. Obviously, he was an expo most of his career. Nice left fielder. And of course, he's stuck to somebody. But yeah, great left fielder there. And soon enough, you're going to find out how I know that. But you're not a don't remember, memorize every person, every team, and every position. Just the ones that jump out at me. And it was Steve Finley. All right, three packs to go. We're probably not going to pull anything else odd-wise, but I'm excited what we did pull. And the fact that I could get them, both of them apart without needing a hairdryer, just those are awesome. Let me use this time to break them up a little bit so that you can at least get the cards apart relatively quick, and they're good. There's Troy O'Leary. Ozzie Timmons. Yeah, I'm not recognizing these cards. Some of them I do, but not all of them. That's good. That's always good for trying to finish a set. Now, Lee Smith transaction card I've seen. And there's not very many transaction or extreme core cards. So it doesn't surprise me we see a lot of dupes here. Von Eshelman transaction. Yeah, we've seen that one. And Extreme Core, Darren Dalton, definitely one of the Philly Finest. Philly Finest from 894 Flare Ultra. It's him and John Crook. Oh, there's a new one, Jim Abbott. And I pulled, I think I pulled two Jim Abbott autos. And it's interesting, he is, I think he's still the only right hand or only one handed pitcher to throw a no hitter. Did that with the Yankees. Of course, that's what he was a White Sox there. He's also was a Angel for a long time. Got some really cool Jim Abbott cards. Don't really PC him, but it's almost like it's a. It, uh, sometimes a PC will build itself, right? And last year, my PC that started building itself was Jorge Soler. Um, not really pulled much of his stuff this year, um, but. For the last two years, the ones that had, you know, the one that I've been getting a lot of was Jim Abbott. So, maybe I have to just embrace that. Start chasing Jim Abbott stuff. Since he was a great pitcher. And to do it, you know, he's born without his, his uh, right hand. So, just interesting. There's Kirby Puckett. Extreme core. Kevin Brown transaction, Scott Cooper transaction, and a Brett Butler transaction, all that we've seen before. There's a nice young one right there, and I think this is a rookie card, Hidoa Nomo. If I look at his 94... Yeah, made U.S. Uh, USA debut in 5295 versus the Giants. So 
this is one of his first cards. A Deo Nomo. There's Bill Swift. Speaking of Chipper, there he is. Pull those apart a little bit. Let's take a look. Obviously, he had no stats in 94 because he was injured. So this is pretty cool. Interesting, and it's it's interesting to see stats from 95 since this is a 95 set because this is the end of the season. And there's Asuna. So really, this is almost like Steam Club update, which I guess they could have called it that instead of high number, but oh well. Last pack. Last pack of the box. All right. Let's see who else we can pull. Some kind of cool players. Since... Obviously, that last pack, we saw a lot of players I haven't seen before, which is good for trying to complete the set. There's Hershiser. But in this one, we're already jumping out, seeing a lot of people I recognize. Like this man right here, Barry Bonds, one of the Extreme Core. A transaction for Marquise Grissom, who still lives in Marietta and is not kin to Von Grissom. It is a misunderstanding. Jack uh, McDowell transaction and David Cohn. Now the rest should just be base. And we went from not finding Chipper, finding his crystal ball, and then we pulling two of them. So go figure. Of course, that's pretty cool. Here's Carlos Perez, Mark McLemore, and end it with... David Clounts, whom, honestly, I still don't remember as a Braves pitcher. So, obviously, he did not make as big of an impact. So, definitely pulled some base. and pulled a lot of base we didn't rec that I never recognized. But we also pulled, as always, there's two themes or subsets. They're, themes, they're called themes and tops. They're called subsets everywhere else. Quite a few of the Extreme Core. I don't honestly remember if we pulled any here that I haven't seen before. Same way with this, the transactions. These would be, you know, trades or free agency pickups from, you know, during the, during the season sometime. Again, I don't remember, I don't think anything here is new. Those are all still part of the base, but we did pull this. And of course, there is only two insert sets uh, in, this, in this product. There is the Power Zone, which we pulled a couple rips ago. And we pulled this one, card number one, the crystal ball card. This is a 1995 crystal ball card of Chipper Jones. Of course, Chipper didn't play until 1995. He actually debuted, I want to say roughly in May. I think the one, one card actually says when he, when he started. But yeah, this is his crystal ball card. This is card number one, which is funny because our Jeff Bagwell card, also card number one. So both of these cards both Hall of Famers. And I think, I know Chipper's number is retired. I don't know if Jeff Bagwell's is not, uh, retired or not. So that's it. The end of this box. Now I got some sorting to do to find out how far we're down that 135 card uh, series. Uh, we're probably going to be pretty good if not finishing it. But I do have another box I'll open in the future because we are going to see what other inserts. Because again, one's 12, one's 15. I forget which is which. You're only going to find one of each per box. So it'd take a ton of boxes to finish it, but we'll at least see what we get. So I hope you enjoyed 1995 Stadium Club High Number Series. It has been fun, and it definitely fills another hole in my, my collection. And I'd love for you to join me on the, on the journey to try to finish all the holes. So there's definitely a lot more product we'll have to be chasing. And the way you do that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button there below and hit the notify bell. Also, if you like Chipper, definitely make sure you give a thumbs up to the video and any comments, drop it in the comment section below. I appreciate going on this journey with me and I look forward to continuing it with other products. So until then, bye now.